Hello and welcome to VR Reviews. Today we'll be reviewing the Resident Evil Series 2 Hunter. So yes, continuing in Resident Evil Series 2, we have the Hunter, one of my favorite enemies from Resident Evil. Large reptilian murder machines. So this guy's pretty good, uh, pretty large also, not as tall as Tyrant, but very bulky. He has very long arms, which he should. Um, better articulated than Tyrant. And, of course, same level of awesome detail. So, let's zoom in on all those sorts of things. Alright, here we have our hunter. I am assuming that he is recently fed, as he is dotted with blood, like here, and here, and, uh, all down on his hands and feet, and his mouth. Um, he is mostly green, scales, lots of darker paint shading and things like that. Uh, really long arms. They go all the way, almost all the way down to his feet. Uh, his underbelly is sort of a darker yellow color with some stripes on it there. Uh, you can see some claws, blood, lots of nice scale texturing. Flip him over on the back, more scale texturing. Uh, let's zoom in on his head really quickly. Alright, you can see his face here. He's got uh, little lizard-like eyes, some ridges above the brow there. Uh, the inside of his mouth is very, very pink, and uh, it looks a bit odd, and it's really the only real complaint I have detail-wise about the figure. can't see inside of his mouth. I assume it's because he's supposed to have recently killed someone and has been eating them, so he's got blood all in his mouth and stuff like that, but it looks a bit odd to me. Um, anyway, zoom out and look at his articulation. All right, articulation-wise, he has no head movement or anything like that because of his hunched kind of design, but he does have a jaw joint, which is nice. Uh, shoulders will go up and down, forward and back. Same sort of joints here at the elbows, which hinge and rotate. Uh, he has those rotating fingers that Tyrant had. Once again, not really sure what the point in that is, but you can slightly adjust his fingers if you so desire. Uh, diaphragm joint rotates, bends up and down a little bit. Uh, he has cuts here at the hips, so they move in at an angle like that. And he has hinges and rotations at the ankles here. So he's actually not half that articulated. Uh, if he could uh, diaphragm upward a little bit more, or if he had some sort of odd head joint or something, you could get him in some all-fours all kind of positions. But uh, still, pretty decent. You could get him in some acceptable poses, especially if you happen to have some uh, other characters for him to be mauling so, he comes with no real accessories, but he does have a little black base. Let's look at that really quickly. Same as Tyrant, except for the peg placement. A little black oval with some pegs in it. He does not require it to stand up, although if you wanted to do some more dynamic things, it might be helpful. So, yeah, that is it. Let's move on to the packaging. Packaging is essentially what you would expect. Resident Evil up there at the top. A uh, nice bit of uh, artwork in the background there. Hunter, 10th anniversary of Resident Evil. A uh, picture of the Hunter figure on the back, as well as the rest of things in this wave. Tyrant, Hunter, Liquor, Crimson, Head, Zombie. Uh, you'll be getting the Liquor and the Crimson Head Zombie reviews later. And Tyrant is already up. So, yeah, good for in or out of package display and all that sort of thing. So, yes, Hunter. All right, that's where I've set up for the Hunter. So, until next time, goodbye. Roar. Hello, you've just watched one of my videos. Feel free to like and comment and subscribe and all those sorts of things if you enjoyed my video. If you didn't, run away. Run away and never return. Also, feel free to check out my other channels. Venom Raptor for all my variety gaming content. And VR Reviews for reviews of various action figures and collectibles. Thank you and goodbye.